Nothing. Yesterday's response was bolstered by new technology. It included a robotic dog and drones that could get inside the dangerous collapse zone. CBS 2's Dick Brennan here now with more on all of this. Dick. Yeah, Maurice and Christine, the city just last week announced it was adding robotic dogs. Those are for the police department for things like hostage situations. And after the mayor got criticism for spending that money, then, well, today, he couldn't help but say, I told you so. Just one week ago. I was being criticized by the, all the folks in the bleachers saying, well, why are you getting that dog? Now you see why I got the dog, to save lives. Indeed, the robot dog can go where, well, no man had gone before, into the collapse, and yes, it can save lives. If we didn't have that robotic dog, we would have placed those firefighters in jeopardy. The robot dog can handle rough terrain like rubble, and even when it went down... That didn't work out for the dog so well. Trust us, it got back on its feet. Like when we fall, we got back up. Snoopy got back up. Most importantly, it provides a flow of crucial information on conditions inside. He'll have some type of video. He may have sound associated with it. He actually probably has some type of metering associated with it, whether it's a gas meters or whatever. And then there's the bird's eye view given to rescuers from drones that have already been used to fighting fires. But yesterday they went to another level. They're able to stream, stream the video directly to our phones, directly to our command center. This is the first time that we've been able to fly inside to do this and, and try to get us some information. The technology comes at a cost that right now is prohibitive for many smaller departments. But make no mistake, it's revolutionizing rescue work. Is this the wave of the future? I do believe it's going to be the wave of the future, and it's, again, it's a tool that we're going to use. But to extricate those individuals out of a collapse zone, out of a trench, out of a structure fire, it still has to be the firefighters performing the work. And Drew says you will be seeing more of these in other departments, those robots and, and more of the drones, when the price goes down. Indeed, there is, though, no replacing those firefighters who, regardless, have to go in to rescue sure. people when they need, need rescuing. Worked out really well yesterday. Extraordinarily well. But fortunately, the robots started the process, and it just worked out. Unfortunate for the one death, though. Truly. Thank you, Dick. Thank you, Dick. And do stay with CBS2 for the latest on the deadly garage collapse on air and on our streaming channel, CBS News New York. We'll also have a live blog of our coverage on our website, cbsnewyork.com.